I never been nothing like what you're accustomed to. Always been who I am. Don't give a fuck if you feel it or not. I've been killing the slots that I'm giving to enter the tier at the top. See that I'm keeping it real and ain't fearing a thing. Compared to the fear that I bring, I eagerly bring what they want and you wait for the moment to own it. I send my condolences. He's cracking so magical, they don't know half of what's cracking inside of my brain. The times that unchanged, my homie, the weed ain't the thing. They be snorting the lines of that cane. I bring to you something that's pure and euphoric is what What's going on YouTube? This is Chris Six, and I'm coming at you guys with the uh, SmackDown uh, results and review from today. Uh, well, today's show started out with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn uh, coming out to the ring and talking about how they're going to be uh, becoming the uh, co-WWE champions as of the Royal Rumble. They're going to beat AJ Styles and take the belt and whatnot. Well, then AJ Styles ends up coming out and having a few words with them, and uh, followed by him was uh, Daniel Bryan. And uh, the match ended up getting set for tonight for a back-to-back uh, -back match against AJ Styles, starting out with Kevin Owens, uh, following into uh, Sami Zayn. And um, that, uh, that, that match was made official at the beginning of the show. The, second ma or the first match of the night we ended up having was... Uh, Chad Gable versus Jay Uso, and uh, this was match was getting a setup for the uh, Rumbles tag team match uh, for SmackDown, and um, Chad Gable ended up picking up the win over Jay Uso. The next little segment that we ended up having was Shinsuke Nakamura backstage doing an interview, and Baron Corbin ended up coming in, uh, having a few words, pretty much getting this this match hyped up and everything with the Baron Corbin and Shinsuke Nakamura match. It was also broke today that um, the Royal Rumble is going to be getting a little bit of the perfect 10. Uh, Ty Dillinger, he's uh, joined the Rumble and um, can't wait to see what he ends up doing uh, during the Rumble. In match two, we end up having Naomi and Liv Morgan from the Riot Squad. Uh, and Naomi ended up pulling out a win over uh, Liv Morgan. But the Riot Squad ended up jumping in and uh, beating her ass pretty much. And uh, after that, we ended up seeing Becky Lynch and uh, Lana and everybody come out from the back. And they started uh, getting into it, you know, taking on the Riot Squad and then start taking on each other. Becky Lynch attempted to try to throw Naomi out of the ring, and um, Naomi ended up landing on the apron, and uh, right after that, Charlotte ended up coming out and uh, gave some words saying uh, that uh, she is the champion. You know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody got anything over top of her. Now, the uh, third match we ended up having was the Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin, and... Uh, Randy Orton ended up coming out during the match. So the match ended up not uh, having a winner determined because of the interference. But Randy Orton ended up coming out. He ended up demolishing uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, giving the RKO out of nowhere to Baron Corbin, and getting us all prepped for, again, the Rumble. And I, I can't wait to see what the men's going to pull off, too. Um, I can't stress enough. Uh, I'm just, I'm excited about the females, and, uh, you know, being that this is the first Rumble for them. And uh, I'm excited about the men's because I'm always, you know, I'm always amped about the Rumble. Now, the next match was a six-man tag team match, and it was Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, and Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal, Aiden English, and Rusev. Now, uh, Bobby Roode ended up picking up the win for uh, the team and everything, so we uh, we end up having the winners as Xavier Woods, Bobby Roode, and uh, Kofi Kingston over top of Rusev, Aiden English, and Jinder Mahal. As the match is getting ready to uh, start up and everything for the uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and uh, AJ Styles, right after AJ Styles and Kevin Owens uh, entered and got partway down the ramp, uh, Shane McMahon ended up coming out and he made it official that if uh, Sami Zayn ends up getting involved in Kevin Owens' match with uh, AJ Styles, uh, that he would actually be fired uh, in that night. Uh, you know, as soon as it happens. And um, the same went for uh, Kevin Owens. If he got involved during the Sami Zayn's match with AJ Styles, he was to also be fired immediately. 
Now, uh, the AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens match was first, and uh, the match really actually didn't last all too long. Uh, Kevin Owens made pretty quick work uh, of Kevin Owens, or AJ Styles made pretty quick work of Kevin Owens' leg and uh, got him in the calf crusher, and that was it. It that was it was over. Uh, he tapped. He crawled out of the ring, got his ass beat pretty bad. And uh, Sami Zayn actually had to end up coming to his aid. And the match had never even kicked off yet for the Sami Zayn and AJ Styles. And, I mean, he was whomping ass every which away. Uh, AJ Styles got tossed all over the, uh, you know, ring and uh, around the ring and whatnot. Um, finally, the match ended up kicking off. Uh, during the match, though... They, you know, Kevin Owens was laying out on the side and they were supposed to be getting him up and out of there or medical attention or whatever. But uh, during the entire match of the uh, Sami Zayn and AJ Styles, AJ Styles kept going out there and fucking with um, Kevin Owens and knowing that he really shouldn't be. Um, he should just leave well enough alone. But uh, they kind of got him in trouble because uh, Sami Zayn ended up pulling off the Haluva kick and uh, the Blue Thunder Bomb on AJ Styles picking up the win. And so, um, Kevin Owens and AJ Styles going into the Rumble to, uh, this Sunday, it's, it's not looking pretty good for, for AJ Styles, because it's a, um, uh, 1-1, one, one, you know, it's a, it's a 1-1, one, one, and there's two of them against him, so, I, I don't know, I, I, I hope AJ Styles can pull out the win, you know, retain the championship, but then again, it'd be kind of cool to see something a little new of the, uh, co-WWE champions, um, for just a little bit, you know, just something that's never been done before. I'd like to see how they could do something like that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section, uh, below, uh, what you guys think, um, of this whole co-WWE championship match. Uh, I, 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 like I said, I honestly, I'm, I'm torn because I, I want AJ Styles win. I'm a bigger fan of AJ Styles. I like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as wrestlers. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, character right now. But uh, beyond that, I, I would love to see what they could do with something like that. If You know, being it's never been done before. Uh, the mix Match Challenge uh, was today also. Uh, I got the results from that. And it was The Miz and Asuka versus Big E and Carmella. And, um... Asuka ended up, uh, and uh, The Miz ended up pulling out the win over Big E and Carmella. So um, Asuka and The Miz are moving on as uh, well as Sasha Banks and Finn Balor. So um, I'll be giving you guys the results for that next week also because uh, it looks to me like it's going to be happening every Tuesday night after SmackDown. So um, I'll be adding the results into that every um, every Tuesday night until this mix Match Challenge is uh, you know, over. So... Um, be sure to check back for um, next week's results for the Mixed Match Challenge. It'll be Sami Zayn, Becky Lynch versus Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss. Now, uh, I got a question of the day for you guys. Um, what is your guys' most favorite Stone Cold moment or most memorable Stone Cold moment? Um, I think uh, mine would probably be the time that he... Gave McMahon the uh, stunner in the center of the ring, and McMahon looked like a fl uh, flailing fish, pretty much in the center of the ring, um, flopping around and everything. It just it looked funny as hell. It, it, the sell the sell rate for McMahon was was terrible, but that I think that was probably one of my most memorable moments was the the McMahon bump for the Stone Cold stunner, uh, that notorious one where like I said he kind of jacking around all like a fucking dead fish. Um, my overall thoughts for the show, it was a lot more productive today, I think, than, uh, yesterday's, uh, Raw. The, like, I, I think I was a little more hyped for yesterday's Raw than, uh, you know, because after I sat and really thought about it, it, Raw was not as, quite as good as I, you know, really, you know, I, I don't know. Yesterday, I thought it was a lot better than what it really actually was, but I think it was just because of the hype and everything. I was so excited for, you know, it and... Seeing a lot of these guys, the nostalgia and everything, just got it kind of got me a little overwhelmed. But today's SmackDown, like I said, I think it was a little better than Raw yesterday because it was a little more productive going into the Royal Rumble and uh, whatnot. So um, um, I, I give I give my rating 
I, I'd have to change my rating from yesterday, but I give my rating today probably about a three and a half. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, favorite, follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, make sure you guys follow us on the personal Chris Six Asylum uh, Facebook page, the official Chris Six Asylum Facebook uh, page. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell. Hit the subs uh, the um, wow, yeah. Hit, make sure you share it with your friends and and uh, whatnot and your coworkers. Um, be sure to come back Monday, uh, or actually no, be sure to come back Sunday evening, uh, Monday morning, whatever time, uh, to check back the results of the Royal Rumble. Uh, we'll have those for you guys.